This is the Fine Fine K6A8 mic, and I've been trying to get my hands on this mic for a while now. Well, they finally sent it out for me to overview and look at and review for you guys, and I'm super excited because we're doing it a little bit different. I'm not just gonna do a normal review of the mic. I'm going to do a review of the mic, the overview of it, and of course, and I'm gonna show you how it works on Xbox and how it sounds on Xbox. Let's get into the video. So, Right out of the box, we're gonna have a user manual and then you're also gonna get the 3 8 to 5 8 adapter that you can use to put on a shock mount or boom arm or anything like that. And you also get an 8.2 foot cable USB-C to type A, of course. And then you're also gonna get the dynamic uh, microphone itself and it comes with a shock mount on it itself. So you're good to go there. You don't have to worry about it. if you bump something or anything. It's got a decent shock mount on it as well. Now. I definitely like the look of this mic personally with the mesh on it, the gray looking mesh with the slick circle body. It looks very, very good in my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments below, is this a pretty mic in your personal opinion? Or do you think other mics that I've used and reviewed here on the channel look better? Let me know which mic you think looks the best that I've looked at so far. A lot of y'all gonna probably pick the HyperX. I already know. So let's do the overview of the mic real quick. So on the bottom of the mic itself, you have two knobs there. Now those knobs are for your microphone gain and also your head port gain for your zero latency mic monitoring that you're gonna be able to use through here, which is what you're gonna actually be using for your Xbox itself because we go through the mic monitoring port when we hook this bad boy up. You do have an XLR port on the bottom, which is if you're you know wanting to maybe upgrade down the road Right? Maybe you bought this for your PC, but you're gonna use it for the USB, which is on the bottom of it, the USB Type-C. That's why you get the cable, eight foot cable that comes with it. But you eventually will upgrade that. This is gonna be your best bet because you're gonna have the best of both worlds right out of the box. And again, this mic itself will work on the Xbox because I'm about to show you how to use that. You also on the mic itself has a tap to mute mic. Now this isn't a push button click mute. This is a tap, which means you don't have to worry about sending sound through your stream while you're trying to mute your mic real quick. If you don't have a board or anything like that to be able to do it on the go real quick, then you can just reach up and tap it. Now this only works for USB. So if you have an XLR like I have right here and I tap it, it's not gonna do nothing at all. So just know, keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to the mic and the capsule itself, it is gonna be located at top. As you can see here, I have the mic pointed at me. And by the way, I've been using this this entire time through the XLR on my PC itself with no audio adjustments. I wanted to be able to show you what the mic sounds like this entire time. So now you know. The mesh on top is for like popping and filtering and stuff like that to keep your plosives down. Peter Pan pecked a pickle. Again, I'm not doing any kind of EQing or anything. So if I'm peeking and stuff, you'll be able to kind of tell or I'll let you know in the right here on the screen right now. So the mic itself does come with that shock mount and that shock mount's actually mounted to a rotator cup or we're gonna call it a rotator cup, a little elbow. Anyways, that way you can kind of move it around, get it into position you want it. You can set this mic up like I have it here or if you want, you could set it up above. The weight of the mic itself is a little over a pound, 1.12 pounds to be exact. I think it's a good weight for a mic and majority of the boom arms out there. If you wanna know the boom arm I'm using or you want to link to this mic to help your boy out with the affiliate, of course, to make this my dream eventually to go full time and be one of those creators that just sits around, drinks coffee, because I'm a coffee drinker now and make videos for you guys and gals, then yeah, use the link below. And while you're down there, hit the like button because it helps the algorithm out. I feel dirty just saying it. Leave a comment too. Let's just go all the way. Make sure you subscribe. Moving on. The compatibility with this mic itself, it's gonna work on like your PCs, any kind of audio mixes, of course, you know, for XLR. It does work on PlayStation 4 and 5 for plug and play. And well, it does work on Xbox because, well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. What's going on guys? So what you're listening to right now is actually the mic itself hooked up to the Xbox. I'm streaming live right now on Xbox and I'm using the wireless controller side of this. You can use the pro controller again, but we decided to do it the easy way. Now, when you go to set this up, you're definitely not gonna wanna have the gain all the way up and the mic monitoring all the way up. The gain is what controls how, how hot the mic is itself and just having both of them all the way up with it going through in a cable into your controller. It's gonna probably cause some clipping and stuff and make the audio sound a little bad. I only know this because I literally did this earlier and when I came back and 
listen to it to edit it into the video for you guys and gals, it was clipping bad. So I had to trash that, redo it, and well, here we are again. I got confirmation from a couple people that it does sound really good on their side of the stream, and I listened to it back. It sounded pretty good on my side of the stream, but this is what the mic sounds like on Xbox, so hopefully this helped you guys. Let's finish up the video and wrap it up. All right, guys, so this is going to work on both Xbox like Elite Series controllers and wireless controllers that come with the system itself, and it also work on Pro controllers that are just wired controllers themselves. There's two methods to this, though, so I'm going to show you to you the other method. This method is easy. This is a little bit more intuitive. So if you're using a wireless controller and stuff, you're going to need a Turtle Beach adapter. With the other method, with the wired controller, third-party controller like Power Egg or GameSir, which I'm going to show you with, you don't need this, but you do need it for uh, a controller like this that has the bottom sleeve right here like that i don't know why you need it you need it though anyhow by the way everything that is going to be mentioned in this video is going to be linked below if you don't mind going through there and hitting those links for me it helped me out so much anyhow you're going to take it and plug it in the bottom of the controller like so once you plug it in the bottom like so you're going to get a three sleeve uh splitter so you see the three white lines it's also called four pong or four pole excuse me and you're gonna see on the one I'm gonna link, it's gonna have a headphone jack and a mic jack to make it easier for you guys and gals. You're gonna plug it into the bottom of it like so. Boom, once you do that, you're gonna take a two sleeve. Now, if you have a cable laying around the house, it will work too if it has the three sleeves. So mine has two black lines. If you have one that has three, it'll work. Don't worry about it. You can just use that and save yourself some money. You will take it and plug it into the microphone one itself right here. And then you're just gonna boom like that. And then from there, you're gonna take it and plug into the bottom of the mic. You see the USB plug is already plugged in. This is the USB plug that came with the mic. You're gonna plug it into your Xbox just like so. Pro tip, if you use a capture card and you use a laptop to stream, right? So you you, know, you guys that know, use your OBS or Streamlabs or whatever, you can use this mic on the computer while also using it on the Xbox simultaneously, eliminating cables and eliminating a headache of having to have two different mics while Xbox streaming. So much easier, just do it that way. I promise you it's it works and it sounds really good because you're using a great mic. All right, so I have this kit, this right here. This is called a ground loop isolator. With this method right here, if you run a wire because you're charging your batteries or your, your controller battery inside, internal battery for the series is bad and you have to run a wire, you need this. This is uh, gonna keep it from buzzing. If you do not have this, you're gonna have a really bad buzz. You're gonna take it and plug it in. I plug it into the bottom of the mic. So instead of plugging your cable into the mic monitoring port, plug this in the mic monitoring port. And then all you're gonna do is plug that into that. It's gonna eliminate everything. You're not gonna hear a buzz. You're not gonna hear any feedback or anything like that, having that hooked up that way. You can use a wireless headset with this uh, setup right here, um, both methods. The only caveat is you can't have mic monitoring. And yes, you can have mic monitoring with this little adapter right here. Uh, I figured it out for you that have seen my older, older videos and asked me in the comments and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Go to the settings in Xbox and fix it. Well, actually there's a setting on here. It's just hidden. No one knows about it. Like you have to go and go and dig the trenches and go to, uh, you know, help page on turtle beaches and just to find it. It'll, why well, it doesn't just say my monitoring on here to make it eat? Anyway, sorry, I'm ranting. All you need to do is the mute button, hold it. What's gonna happen is it's gonna beat twice. You're gonna be in mic monitoring. That's gonna be a low end mic monitoring. If you hold it again, like so, after a second or two, it's gonna bleep three times. You're in a high end mic monitoring. Now I would recommend using this personally. If you you, you do it, you'll understand why. It sounds kind of muddy and really muffled in the two, uh, the low end mic monitoring mode. So hit it twice, be in the high end mic monitoring, it's gonna sound a lot better. And on top of that, if you hold it again, it's gonna turn it off. So I'm not 100% positive with the wireless headset if you're gonna be able to hear chat through there. I wasn't able to test this. I have no friends. So I wasn't able to get anybody on the Xbox Live and go and check it myself. So yeah, you can't have mic monitoring on with a wireless headset, but you you, you know, you kind of lose that. Hopefully the chat will still work where you can hear people talking to you through it. I'm gonna test it out. Hopefully if I can't test it out and you guys are able to just let me know in the comments below and that way it'll let the community know and I'll kind of know from here on out. Okay, so now we're on to the wired controller, the pro controllers. Now this can be any pro controller that has a 3.5 millimeter jack at the bottom of it. Majority of controllers come with that for the Xbox anyways. So you're good to go there. All right, so what you'll need is you absolutely 100% positively need the ground loop isolator for this method because this is a wired controller. You're gonna get a really bad 
buzz feedback in your headset if you don't have this while mic monitoring and your stream will hear it as well. So go ahead and buy this. It's like eight or eight to 10 bucks on Amazon. By the way, everything that I'm gonna talk about right here, right now, it's gonna be listed below. If you're using this method and you don't have, you're not using a normal Xbox controller, you don't have to buy the Turtle Beach adapter that I talked about in the first part, you'll just buy everything else. Simple as that, you're gonna save yourself like 50 bucks because these things are not cheap. Xbox, for the love of God, make it plug and play for USB mics. Can I get some freaking fire emojis in the freaking comment section for what I just said? Maybe tag Microsoft. We can make a movement. We'll call it the Pew Move movement. So once you have this, you're gonna take it and plug it into the bottom of the mic itself where the mic monitoring cable goes for your headset. Boom, you're done there. You see I have the USB already hooked up. You're just gonna plug that into your Xbox or if you're streaming with a capture card, I mentioned this in the first part of the video, I mentioned it real quick here, you can use this on the PC while using it on the Xbox at the same time, eliminating cables, eliminating mics and stuff, and you'll have one mic to do it all. So just FYI, pro tip there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, from there, you're gonna take a three sleeve uh, splitter. So it looks like that, you see the three white lines on it, and you're simply going to and it, but on the other end, it has the mic, you have the headset and you have the mic itself. So it kind of tells you, make it easy for you guys and gals to understand. You can plug it in the bottom of the controller like so. So you're gonna take another cable. So it's gonna be either a sleeve, a three sleeve like the splitter was, or this one is a two sleeve, as you can see here. Two sleeve like that, it's got one, two black lines on it. You can use one with a three sleeve as well. It doesn't matter. As long as, you know, either one works. So if you have a cable sitting around the house and you don't want to buy another cable, it doesn't need to be a long cable. This is like a four foot cable, it's really short. You're going to take it and plug it into the mic, uh, mic port on the splitter itself, like so. And you're going to take it and plug it into the ground loop isolator, like so. From here, you'll plug in a wired or a wireless headset. This will work with wireless headsets. You will not get mic monitoring with wireless headsets. Just FYI, it has to be a wired headset, but you can plug in any wired headset. I use these sometimes and you'll be good to go. My controller has volume control with a mute button right here. It works for that. The mute button on the mic itself works and you have volume control to the mic at the bottom. Both of these, you need to have them up. You can change one to kind of fine tune it, but both of them do have to be turned up, the mic monitoring and the gain, because the gain goes in and then the mic monitoring comes out. So you gotta have both of them up. So just kind of fine tune it, get it to where you like it to sound, and well, you'll be good to go there. So hopefully that answered all your questions. If you have any questions or you have a mic in mind, make sure you drop in the comments below. I would love to try to get that mic sent out to me or something and show it on Xbox and how it works and what it sounds like because I think that we as creators need to have an easier setup, something that tilts the scales in our favor for console streamers to be able to compete with the higher end content creators without spending thousands of dollars. So this, method here. Yes, if you're using the wireless controller, you're going to spend 50, 60 dollars. But in the same aspect, it's better than spending $800 on a laptop and an entire setup when you already spent $500 if you have a Series X. So take it for what it's worth. See you guys next time. Peace.